Property Express Live. This is an interview segment. In this interview segment, we interact with developers, contractors, mortgage providers, brokers, professionals, governments, and anyone who matter in the property and real estate space. Today, we will be hosting Sukasa Properties. For this and many more, sit back and enjoy the show. You know what Sukasa stands for? Where are Sukasa properties developing their projects? Hello, welcome to African Home Building Analysis brought to you by PE Life. My name is Nanaya Ochrebia. Today we'll be having a discussion with the Chief of Staff to the CEO of Sukasa Properties, Mr. Isaac Perkumbuati. Hello, sir. Hello, Nana. Thank you for making time. Thank you. I for hope me. you are doing great. Yeah, I'm doing fine. And work too, because you are glowing and your office is glowing as well. Thank you very much. So let's go right into the conversation. Okay. What do Sukasa Properties stand for? Sukasa Properties um, stands for innovation, mm. affordability, okay. and um, development. Okay. This is what we stand for. Okay. Yes. I love the affordability, yes. <laughs> but I also love the development part too. Yes. So recently, you launched your completed project. I think it's yes. the O Grand Saint Phase One, yes. and we're all excited about it. But what is in it for home seekers? Okay, um, let me give you the background of Sukasa so we, we will be able to understand what the organizing community sure, is all about. Sure. So Sukasa Properties um, has been around for quite some years now, Okay. but um, it was known as Sugarcase Estate. Oh. And um, the, the, at that point, we were only focused on high-end properties, mm. which I would say was not meant for the average pocket. Um, we realized that there is a need for um, a home acquisition um, has become a bit of a challenge and then the, the income bracket that we were working with, it doesn't make it possible for a lot of people to be able to get the homes. Mm. So we had to go back to the drawing board and um, that was what um, gave birth to Sukasa Properties. Mm. So the main aim of Sukasa is to be able to bring affordable yet luxury homes onto the market and um, one of the products or one of the ways that we are looking at achieving this is rolling out the Ograzin communities. Okay. So besides the Ograzin communities is not the only project or the only um, communities or the only thing that we do mm -hmm. but um, when, it, when it comes to the aspect of affordable luxury home delivery so Granzin communities is the module through which we are delivering um, these services. Wow. So the, the first community you made mention of is number one of Granzin's communities. Okay. We do have number two of Granzin communities, oh. which is coming up pretty soon. We'll be launching uh, tops two months from now. Wow. And then we do have number three of Granzin communities which is our bigger community. We are looking about 800 homes mm. um, upon completion. Mm. And then we have number four Branson communities. Mm -hmm. Number one, two, three are all located at the East Lagoon Hills and number four is at Ayman. So this is uh, the background of what the Branson community is, mm. where they are and okay. why that project. Wow. So when you say for a while, how many years are we talking about? Okay, so um, Sugar Kings Estate started at 2013. So from 2013 to date, wow. we have been in existence and in operations. That's a lot of experience to even transform into Sukasa. So what are the types of properties you're, you're dealing with right now? As in, are they only properties for home seekers? Are there offices? What well, 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 at the moment, um, we, we are not also doing this in isolation. Mm. As, as a company, we believe the industry we're in. Mm. We have other players that we're working with. Mm. But when it comes to our own projects that we're working on, it's um, all residential. However, oh, okay. we go beyond that in the sense that we have partnerships that we're working with other developers. And mm. so even if the client is looking for something outside of what we do, we are always able to also help them uh, with that um, as well. 
So for us, when you come to grassing communities, what we have available are all residential. Okay. But beyond that, if you're looking for something beyond that, in our operations, we do renovations of homes. Okay. We help others who are looking for even um, land to buy, we do that. But it has not been the main thing because a lot of us are coming to us through the organizing community project mm -hmm. so that is what is on top of their head but mm -hmm. in, in the real estate um, industry we, we offer um, a lot of services which goes beyond just what you can buy from us in our community but even if you do have your own um, let's say land and you're looking for us to talk okay, about we'll yes I mean the primary work preparation documentations and everything to being able to build for we do that as well so mm -hmm. there's a lot more that we do beyond um, selling of our own homes. Yeah. And then even with all grants in you were saying that the locations are at East Legon Hills yes. and then the first four is at IMS. Yes. Uh, so in a wider range, are your properties only in Accra? Are there other parts in Ghana that you have properties at? With, with our grants and communities at the moment, it's only centered in Accra. In Accra. Uh, but we already we are looking um, into expanding um, beyond the the borders of this region. Um, and in a, a previous um, uh, an engagement that we had with the uh, sector minister mm. just last week, he asked the same question and then we, we mm. made it clear that we have uh, plans and okay. we, we are actually actively working on that. Okay. So very soon, um, clients and individuals that are looking for property acquisitions beyond this region should mm. be looking out for what we'll be bringing out um, as part of re-driving development beyond the greater Accra region. That is good. And in a recent communication, your company said Sukata is a company that has the people at heart. Yes. What did you mean by that? Okay, um, if you look at um, Sukasa and what we are doing in a price point, yeah. um, some of the properties we are, uh, are putting out, our three bedroom, the price point mm -hmm. currently 70,000, mm -hmm. you can go on the market and then you do your own research. You get to realize that you wouldn't usually be able to come buy such finishing and such product at that price yeah, point. That price. Uh, in here, it takes a lot to be able to achieve such uh, level of quality and um, luxury at the price point. It means that we have to uh, go through a lot of sacrifice and, and it's not only limited to uh, top management or even here in the office, but during our lunch, uh, CEO made mention, even our site workers, the, the amount of money that they have decided we want to take because this is the only way we also can contribute to make sure that this project continues so we can always get the opportunity to work from one community to other. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also sacrifice, they are sacrificing and they are able to do this based on the vision that they have seen us and what we are doing. So some of these things I will say to you, we have to work beyond um, the usual time someone will have to work on. Mm -hmm. We have to go through um, a lot of uh, negotiations to be able to get some deals as far as um, building materials are concerned. All because of the price point, we want to develop this for the client. If it wasn't for this and uh, the focus is to just make the profit, we wouldn't necessarily have to go through all that. Oh, and we'll be able to still price the, the property at a point that we wouldn't do that and still be able to uh, make it happen. Mm -hmm. But because we are looking at this from the client's point of view, mm -hmm. we are squeezing every turn and every part to be able to make sure that at the end of the day, we have um, achieved what we would achieve at the price point that would be more comfortable for them to also uh, be able to achieve. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. I love that and then it brings me to this. So here in Ghana, yeah. we all know that the biggest obstacle for most home buyers is finances. Yeah. And we have people who are earning averagely like 2000 to 5000 What are the terms for these people who still want to seek for good properties or a place to lay their head? Okay, so when you come to um, us, we do have, um, uh, even for clients that opt to do 
um, outright payment, we mm -hmm. give them discounts. Okay. And um, besides that, we do have uh, several payment terms. Currently, okay. we have up to two years payment spread. Wow. Uh, so whatever that the client is looking at, based on your um, income level, we'll be able to do this. Okay. Now, if for whatever reason this doesn't um, fit your need, mm -hmm. we also do have partnership with some financial institutions that are able to take on mortgage facilities mm -hmm. for you. So they will pre-finance, buy the property for you, and then you might, Pay you can decide, time. it might be 10 years, it might be 20 years, depending your, on your income bracket and what you can afford. Okay. And so, um, we do, for me, from our two bedroom, um, starting at um, 45,000, which is currently about uh, 560,000 Ghana cities, mm -hmm. you would be able to definitely get something of your own. Sure. And then uh, you can look at the three bedroom or even you know, the four bedroom, all depends. But payment plans um, that we have come up with, mm -hmm. all because we want to make sure that everyone who has the need and wants to um, acquire property will be able to do this without having to build their bank. Uh, for that matter. It's nice. Yeah. And what would be your advice to a first-timer who wants to invest in real estate? Okay, so um, normally when people do talk about investment, uh, we are looking at um, the whole idea has been, okay, someone coming in to maybe also build and sell, someone buying a lot. But even if you're looking at even buying your first home, is an investment um, for you and for your future. Yeah. Um, for the first-time buyers, Wosukasa, what I would say is, um, if you're looking at this as uh, from the investment point of view, the price point that we are selling our properties, for instance, our three bedroom being for 70,000, mm -hmm. you can buy that today and in a year from now. You, you necessarily don't even have to wait for a year, yes. but you can sell it as much as twice of the amount. And I'm not saying this um, just for saying sake. We do have um, external evaluators coming to the site, evaluating properties that we are done. Mm -hmm. And some of our three bedroom, at least two independent evaluation companies are pegging that at 180, 190,000 US dollars wow. when it's done. But we are selling this for 70,000. So if you're looking at it from investment point of view, I don't think there's anything that you can compare to be able to um, buy a property or uh, buy, put your money elsewhere and be able to get that kind of mm -hmm. uh, returns in, in 12 months or even less from now. Mm -hmm. So that is it. Beyond that, I would say that uh, before you're buying any property, you're looking at documentation, you're looking at land acquisition process. For us, every land that we're building on, we make sure they have titles. We also make sure that we have done our due diligence before we are moving in because um, our company's brand and image is at stake before you, the client even coming in. So we do a lot of work to make sure that first we are securing the interest of the company as far as um, land acquisition and everything that has to do with it is concerned and then be able to transfer that benefit to our client. So you should be rest assured that I am putting this investment down knowing that I'm dealing with a company or a brand that knows exactly what they are doing yes. and um, I, I can be assured of some form of security with my investment. That's quite impressive and assuring. Thank you very much. So what are your views on the early entry into the Ghanaian real estate market? Uh, when you say early entry, um, uh, it even applies to you yes. when you started as sugar cane. And okay, so so you were looking industry. individuals. Okay, yeah. so there are there are there are several ways uh, one can come into the industry. Mm. One might want to say I want to be an agent, okay. so I want to align with the already developers that are working, mm. and then I can take what they are building and sell and, and make a so, commission. Yeah. Someone might also say that I want to maybe I am in a position where. I can also be developing, so maybe I can start with two or three units developing. So whatever area that you want, what I would say to you is that at the moment, uh, on records, we have more than one million housing deficits here in Ghana, more than that. And so if you have the interest and the courage that you want to do this, I would say to you that do your background checks, do your, I mean, your, your studies and um, have enough information. Mm -hmm. And once you, you you realize that you have the interest and you are willing to pay the price and you would be able to do this, there is no reason why you shouldn't go in. But I will say to you, if for instance, if, you, if you're not sure of yourself, start by selling what other developers have already yeah. done and then by so doing, 
you will be exposed to a lot of information on the on, on the field relating to the industry and you will now be able to identify where your interest is because real estate then again is, is broad when you look at coming in even the value chain we will we can i can be someone who want to be at a supply end so maybe i want to be supplying raw materials to developers mm -hmm. or maybe i want to there are so many or maybe even where uh, development are already going on i want to set up maybe a water supply uh, plant somewhere and so so many so many so you have to look at the value chain Okay. Stand is, is something that a, a developer would need to build. Mm -hmm. Can I? Would I want to do this? Mm -hmm. Chippings and uh, nails, whatever mm -hmm. that you look at the industry um, as a whole, and you feel that I think my interest is here, okay. and I want to. You can even do that. Sure. You, one of the biggest skill that I would say, um, if you can, if you possess and you want to go into the industry, is people, um, um, uh, management or leadership, whatever, okay. even on the on the on the field of work that is needed so what regardless of whatever you want to it is something that if you have even on your own you can put people together start something with the industry and then they will be able to work for you so first have the interest and first have people at heart that i am going to do this yes with a profit point in, in mind okay. but the, the 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 solution identify a problem, a problem and then find a solution to it and make sure you exit that okay. properly okay okay yes. and in the face of these global economic challenges yes. i know sukasa was affected like all of us yes. were affected how did you guys get over it and then what do you think we can do to build a resilient industrial sector for the real estate Okay, um, for, for, for this, what I'll say, the downtime um, actually affected every part of the world. Yes. But um, that is also um, an opportunity for you to re-engineer mm -hmm. whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. So for us, um, someone who had all it takes to probably go in for 200,000, 300,000 USD home, mm -hmm. uh, maybe because of this, their income um, is affected and for that matter, they need to look at this. Then we would want to look at something more affordable. So mm -hmm. for us, right from the get-go, where we have positioned ourselves and what we're doing, um, we, yes, we are all uh, going to face this challenge, but it, it is not too much of a problem or a challenge That's to us. Good. Also, um, because of um, how we go about, especially with my CEO, his approach about how to source for materials, talk to the uh, manufacturers and all that. It all only makes it um, simple and easy for you to be able to get what you want, mm -hmm. even in this time to be able to continue to develop. Mm -hmm. And another thing is that if you have to do this and you have to do it in a small scale, um, the cost implication it's definitely going to be that high as far as that effect but if I want to look at doing this on a large scale then you are able to leverage on, on, on everything that has to play to make this happen for you to be able to seal through this mm -hmm. another thing will be I'll say the human resource yes. and um, the team everyone that you are going to bring on board regardless of what you're doing at this moment need to also be on the same page and understand that this is um, a global issue and then we all have to one way or the other sacrifice something and then do a bit more than we would usually do in order to achieve um, the goals we want to work on once everybody understand that we're on the same page um, I think it, sh it wouldn't be too much of a problem for you to be able to sail through this um, and go through. But um, another one last thing I'll say is every every challenge that we are presented to also comes along with an opportunity. Okay. So uh, we wouldn't have to um, focus on, 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 on the, the hardship and the direct effect, but rather what are some of the things we can learn and be able to help us even become better in delivering of our services and products um, onto the market as far as this industry is concerned. So re-engineering of our designs um, and approach of works and everything in the end would only uh, bring progress. Okay, okay, okay. And recently the sector minister and then the government introduced the National Rental Assistance Scheme. They have been varied views on this. What's your take on it? Uh, for, 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 for me, um, whatever it is that um, the, 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 the government 
people um, roll out. Mm -hmm. I believe that these are uh, uh, individuals that have the technical know-how and the brains and the mind to think into things in brain. Mm -hmm. um, once these policies are there, what I would say is that it's only um, uh, prudent that we get along with it, we learn to know more about what it really has to offer. Yeah. And if there's any opportunities that we can make it better, we do it. Um, if not, and we don't understand any uh, part of it, we seek for that and then we, we, we will because um, it is it is here to help every individual and it is here to add on value to whatever that we're currently doing. Uh, you know, so um, I would say it's a good initiative to, if we probably lack any um, ideas or lack any uh, information about that, I would say we have to make our, uh, ourselves open to that okay. and have full information. Once we have that, I think decision making on whether that's good for me or not, um, I, I will leave it for the individual yeah. to, to decide, but I, 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 wouldn't th I don't think it's a bad initiative that anyone would want to um, uh, or push away. Okay, okay. And Sukasa is the headline sponsor for Ghana Forty Hours, the UK edition, just this June. What should the aspirants be expecting from Sukasa? Okay, um, uh, I think for for all our participants or individuals that are coming on board, uh, they should expect to one be able to get closer and get to know more about Sukasa because a lot of people have seen um, our projects and our brand and everything, but don't really understand the concept. We uh, believe in, in the vision of this event, um, bringing um, people that are more interested in doing some form of um, real estate related activity in our country and then that is why we decided that it would be great if we can um, take up this challenge and be the headline sponsors one to promote the country at large what we have here out there and then also to be able to help this brand to um, push this goal because it's a great agenda mm -hmm. that we believe that it only makes sense that we come on board support so we can actually all of us can be ambassadors for this um, industry and for this com uh, country as far as this sector is concerned out there so that people that are looking into some form of investment some form of um, a, a, a contribution mm -hmm. into the country through the real estate industry will be able to be exposed. So this is what, why we decided to do this and um, above everything be able to uh, let people open up Sukasa for people to know exactly what we represent mm -hmm. uh, when, when we mention Sukasa. Wow. So we should expect nothing but um, great offers um, coming along with this um, event as we come along sure. too. And we are grateful that you are sponsoring. You. What are your concluding remarks? Well, um, what I would like to say is um, if you have already received an invitation or, or, or some form of information about this event, there shouldn't be any reason why you wouldn't want to be there because um, this is bigger than every individual company that's re representing this event. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity for all of us to come together, to share ideas, to bring uh, together um, ideas from all parts of the world and especially be able to take that information, bring it down here into Ghana and look at the investment opportunities as well as what we all can do to drive development and above everything be able to ensure that um, a year from now when this event is, is going to come back to us is going to be more than we have ever experienced. We want to make sure that we will see better and bigger uh, events coming from this brand and also for us Casa, we are always here and we would love to always be uh, partnering and supporting and pushing positive agendas as far as it, it brings development and um, progress and projects of this sort to our motherland. Sure, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very really much. I really enjoyed now. this conversation and I have learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Sure. So thank you for staying with us. If you do not remember anything, I hope you remember but that anytime there is a challenge before you, there is also an opportunity that it comes with it. So seek out for the opportunity and make use with that opportunity. Thank you very much. This is African Home Building Analysis brought to you by PLI. My name is Nanaya Ochirubia. Have a good time. Thank you.